Schuler. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be on stage for the opening number. Now is not the time for the opening number, Sarah. No, now is exactly the time for the opening number, see? Look, I know you're excited about the 10th anniversary of the Georgia High School Musical Theater Awards, also known as the Schulers. But trust me, it's fine. Hey, Schuler! <laughs> Best lead actor of 2014. Thank you for coming back, my no friend. No problem. And I was hoping we can go over our copy. Do you have a minute? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now is not the time to go over copy. Ugh. Hey, Schuler, um, what do you think about this outfit? Beth, thank you so much for coming back again. But now is not the time to talk about your outfit. <clears throat> okay, Schuler, if now is not the time to be in the opening number and to go over copy and to go over an outfit, what time is it? Sarah, I am so glad you asked that. Are you ready, Cheryl? Always. Sarah, Reuben, Beth, everyone. Now is the time to seize the day. Sure. Ah, stare down the odds and seize the day. Oh, minute by minute. How? That's how we'll win it. We shall find the way. But right now. Let us seize the day. From the Cobb Energy Performing Arts Center in Atlanta, it's the 10th anniversary of the Georgia High School Musical Theater Awards, celebrating excellence in high school musical theater. Tonight, we recognize the year's best productions with performances by high schools across the state of Georgia. Now, please welcome your host, Schuler Hensley. Good evening. And welcome to the 10th anniversary of the Schuler Awards. Can you believe it? 10 years. And each year the show keeps getting better, the students keep getting more talented, and I just keep getting 
younger. <laughs> the Schulers are proudly presented by Archbridge Foundation here at the Cobb Energy Performing Arts Center. Since its inception, Archbridge has served more than 350,000 kindergarten students and educators, not just here in Georgia, but in 57 countries around the world. I am proud to share with Archbridge the belief that all students should have access to the arts. To prove that, thank you. They proudly provide field trips, master classes, workshops, and family programming like my favorite show, the Schuler Awards. <laughs> of course, I want to express a big thank you to our presenting sponsor, the Georgia Lottery, who transferred more than, listen to this, $1 billion to the Lottery for Education account in 2017. That's an average of $3 million every day for hope and pre-K. That's amazing. Thank you sincerely for your commitment to learning. And of course, our Schuler family also includes our partnerships with Georgia Public Broadcasting and Georgia State University Television, who helped produce tonight's show. Thank you for putting us in people's homes. Not literally, of course, because, well, that could get weird. <laughs> now. To tell you a little more about tonight's show, please welcome back my wonderful co-host who's returning for her second year. She's a TV personality and reporter who was born right here in the great state of Georgia, Beth Keener. <laughs> Beth. <laughs> Thank you, Schuler. That's right, I am a Georgia girl. And uh, let me echo your praise for all of the wonderful partnerships we have supporting this program, but wait. <laughs> There is more. The Schulers also get support from Bennett Thrasher, Delta Community Credit Union, the Molly Blank Fund, Jimmy and Helen S. Carlos, the Smiley for Kylie Foundation, and many, many more. Yeah. With their help, we'll keep this party going for at least 10 more years. Speaking of which, 10 years, guys. Wow. If you have a smartphone, and I'm betting that that would be most of the folks in this audience, please help us spread the word on Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram using the hashtag Schulers18. Come on, I know with this young audience, uh, we can definitely get that trending. And uh, while we do, Schuler, back to you. Thank you, Beth. Like you said, tonight is a party, not just for the Schuler's 10th anniversary, but also for all the incredible performances that you are about to see, put on by the hardest working high school students in show business. So let's get this ce celebration started. Here to present the Schuler Award for Best Featured Performer, give it up for the Managing Director of the Broadway Dreams Foundation, Amanda Watkins. Thank you. I'm excited to present tonight's first Schuler Award, Best Featured Performer. Just as every voice lends a new dimension to a song, every part is important in a musical, creating and building depth in the story. An outstanding featured performer makes the most out of their part, proving that you don't have to be the lead character to leave a lasting impression on the audience. Here are your nominees for Best Featured Performer. Dillian Burrell, Alpharetta High School, Little Shop of Horrors. Nanditha Regini, Lakeview Academy, All Shook Up. Lewis Sellers, Milton High School, Cabaret. Natalie Castro, Mount Barron Christian School, Oklahoma. Skylar Droz, Pace Academy, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. And Madison Hudgens, Savannah Arts Academy. Bring it on, the musical. And the Schuler Award goes to Lewis Sellers, Milton High School.
Wow, uh, I did not expect that to happen at all. Um, all right, uh, I want to thank um, our director, David Hopkins. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to play this role. Um, my family, my mom, my dad, love you so much for supporting me. Um, our cast and crew, love all of you guys so much. Thank you. Um, my family in New York, family in Georgia, and Papa, I know you're watching. I know there's a Mets game, but you know, hopefully you're watching this instead. <laughs> Thank you so much. As a thespian, when I don a cape or a mask or even a crazy wig, it's because I'm building a character through the art of the costume. Of course, when I wear those at home, it's because it's Tuesday. <laughs> Thank you. Here to present the Schuler Award for Best Costume Design, please welcome the Chair of the Artsbridge Board of Directors, Claire Richardson. Thank you, and I'm so honored to be here for the 10th anniversary. It's very exciting. When an actor takes the stage, they dress for the part. And their role, whether large or small, is heightened by the clothes they wear. The design of their wardrobe can convey a person's station, their personality, or even provide a hint of their past. Here are tonight's nominees for the Schuler Award for the best costume design. CC Conrath, Debbie Hendricks, and Janelle Myers, Lakeview Academy, all shook up. Jen Fitzpatrick, Mount Perrin Christian School, Oklahoma. Jan Ewing and Kately Congdon, North Hall High School, Catch Me If You Can, Donna Stembridge, Savannah Christian Preparatory School, Jenny Jenny Bang Bang, Kara Clements and Jenny Gray, Stars Mill High School, Wizard of Oz, and Eric Gray, West Forsyth High School, Bullets Over Broadway. And the award tonight for best costume goes to Mount Perrin Christian School, Jen Fitzpatrick. Thank you so much for this opportunity. First, I want to say to all of my cast, the directors, thank you for your support. I uh, want to thank Mount Perrin Christian School for giving us a place where we can use our talents to glorify God through what we do. And for me, that is making people look great on stage. And I love that you guys smile and help us make that happen. Um, Sherry, thank you so much. Um, again, thanks to all of you. Hey everybody, happy 10th birthday to the Shore Awards. I am so sorry I can't be with you there. One of these years I'm gonna get there, but for now, have a great night. Congratulations on, to all of you who not only win awards, but just to all of you for being there, and to all those great teachers and people who make it possible for theater to happen at schools all across the world. You know, my favorite thing that I did was probably My Fair Lady, played Henry Higgins when I was 17, but I did lots of stuff. And that was the beginning of my lifelong love of the theatre. So to all of you, keep dreaming, keep creating, and just enjoy being part of that family. I like that guy. I like that guy. Over the course of the evening, I'll be introducing tonight's nominees for the Schuler Award for Best Overall Production. There's six nominees in total, and we'll have the privilege of enjoying live performances from each of those nominated schools. Believe me, there's some seriously incredible numbers coming up, and you won't want to miss a single one, so I think we all know what that means. No bathroom breaks, yes, yes. <laughs> our, our first nominee for overall production brings us to the post-World War I Berlin where Cliff a down-on-his-luck writer from America, is looking for inspiration. 
but instead he finds himself in a bizarre Kit Kat club where he meets a carefree cabaret singer named Sally. The club where Sally works sets the stage for a whirlwind romance that is soon tested by the escalating violence of the Nazi regime. Wow. And you thought high school romances were dramatic. <laughs> Here to perform Willkommen from Cabaret, let's hear it for Milton High School. Well, thank you, Milton High School. What a warm welcome in into our overall production category. While I'm excited about all of this evening's awards, this next one is a particularly bright spot. Here to present the Schuler Award for Lighting Design is the chairman of the Cobb County Commission, Mike Boyce. In musical theater, light is a silent director. As you just saw, lighting can shift the audience's attention to better serve the story. It can reveal an event or hide it. It can set the time, the mood, and when well done, it can convey much, much more. Of course, all of that artistry depends on the lighting designer. Here are your nominees for the Schuler Award for Best Lighting Design. Julie Leggett, India Gallion, and Ben Riley. Calhoun High School, Bring It On the Musical. Logan Swain, Gordon Central High School, 110 in the Shade. Natalie Cook, Greenbrier High School, The Drowsy Chaperone. 
Holly Craig Smith and Parker Rawson. Kings Ridge Christian School, Thoroughly Modern Millie. Sydney Hunt, Milton High School, Cabaret. Emma Wigington, South Forsyth High School, the Hunchback of Notre Dame. And the Schuler Award for Light and Design goes to from Gordon Central High School, Logan Swain. Thank you so much. Uh, I'd like to thank my, I guess, dress, sorry, I can't speak. Uh, directors, uh, cast, crew, my amazing uh, lighting crew that we have, uh, my parents, family, friends, the say directors, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you so much. You really pre appreciate this. Oh my God. Wow. That last uh, Schuler category celebrated the person responsible for providing audiences with a bright view of the stage. And our next category examines the craftsperson who creates the scenery to make that view unique. Here to present the Schuler Award for Scenic Design, please welcome the Executive Director for the Mayor's Office of Cultural Affairs, Camille Russell Love. Good evening. For the scenic designer, the stage is a canvas filled with possibilities. Just as the artist paints, paints with a brush, so does the scenic designer, along with a hammer and a, uh, more than a few nails. They carefully craft each piece of the set to transport its inhabitants into the environment they find on the page, as well as in their imaginations. I'm proud to introduce your nominees for the 2018 Schuler Award for Best Scenic Design. Stephen Hansen, Greenbrier High School, The Drowsy Chaperone. David Hopkins and Sim Jones, Milton High School, Cabaret. Casper Kuzemski and Jack Zhu, Raven Gabnikuchi School, Cabaret. Sydney Fredrickson and Sadie Pijanowski, South Forsyth High School, the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Bill Schreiner, The Walker School, Bye Bye Birdie. Eric Gray, West Forsyth High School, Bullets Over Broadway. And the Schuler goes to David Hopkins, Milton High School. <laughs> Thanks so much. I'm not David Hopkins, I'm his counterpart, Sim Jones. It really was his brainchild, so I've got to thank him. I am so fortunate to work at a school with so many talented fellow directors and a supportive principal who lets us do our work. I also really just want to accept this on behalf of every director, every student who's worked on building a set, picked up a paintbrush, swung a hammer, and just gives their time and their lives over to theater, both backstage and front of house. Thank you. So I participated in the Schuler Awards from 2012 to 2015. I went to West Forsyth High School. So next year, I'm gonna be a senior. At the end of the year, we do a senior showcase up in New York. And I think it's so important right now in the state our country is in to create art and to keep it alive because different stories and different perspectives are so important to growing as a society. We have quite a few awards left to present tonight. 
But before we do, I would like to take a moment to explain the Schuler Award's ever important adjudication process. Our adjudicators, all of whom are experts in the field of musical theater, have spent the past several months traveling across the great state of Georgia, attending live performances at each of the schools entered in this year's competition. To help recognize these hardworking folks, I would like to ask all of them to stand so that we can give you all a round of applause. And it's great because everyone standing anyway. Yay! Stand up, stand up. Thank you guys so much for your hard work. <laughs> Their unbiased results were collected and tabulated and then delivered to the Cobb Energy Center by the uh, official accounting firm of the Schulers, the very honorable Bennett Thrasher. And now that we've had our adjudication education, I hand things back to the very honorable Schuler Hensley. Schuler? Thanks, Beth. Quasimodo, the kind hearted but physically malformed bell ringer, dreams of a life beyond the Paris Cathedral, where he has been, uh, where he's been confined by an evil archdeacon. Our hunchback finds his chance to escape during the city's Feast of Fools. It's here that he first meets the free-spirited Esmeralda and falls in love at the sight of her singing and dancing. It just goes to show you that musical theater is the universal language of love. <laughs> here to perform Rhythm of the Tambourine from the Hunchback of Notre Dame is tonight's second nominee for the coveted overall production award and a first-year participant in the Schuler Awards. Please, thank you. Please give a big 10th anniversary Schuler Awards welcome to the Artios Academies of Sugar Hill.
Well, I am backstage, and by the looks on the faces of these guys, the smiles could not be wider on the faces of the students from the Ardios Academies of Sugar Hill as they begin to make their way back to their dressing rooms. I know I would be smiling, too, if I just performed like that. Step on over here, guys. So what is it like to perform on live TV? Uh, it's, it's wonderful. It's really humbling just to be here with all this talent. Um, I can speak for all of us and say that we're truly honored to be here. And how is it different than theater? Oh my goodness, it's incredible. Um, just the energy is so exciting. It's so different. I mean, all of us just, our faces are lit up the whole time. Great. All right, well guys, head on back. I know you have more to do tonight. Congratulations on a great performance. All right, well we have several more schools eager to perform. Yes, please give them a round of applause from tonight's overall production category. But before we meet them, let's spread the joy in a different direction and meet the nominees for Best Technical Execution. To help with that, please give your warmest welcome to two individuals representing the station on which we are being broadcast. The CEO of Georgia Public Broadcasting, Tay Orion, and the host of GPB Radio's Two Way Street, Bill Nygut. Hey, everybody. <laughs> so, Taya, yeah, it's great to be here, and we want to get to we get to present a really wonderful award. We do. During a live performance, timing is everything. From the lights, to the sound, to the set, each element must come together like clockwork to ensure a successful performance. You already know that. Tonight's Shulu Award for Technical Excellence goes to the individual who excelled in this endeavor. Here are your nominees. Ben Riley and Darlene Wright, Calhoun High School, Bring It On The Musical. Stephen Hansen, Greenbrier High School, the Drowsy Chaperone. Jan Ewing, North Hall High School, Catch Me If You Can. Sean Lackey and Zach Nash, Rabin Gabb Nakuchi School, Cabaret. Kirk Grizzle, South Forsyth High School, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Eric Gray, West Forsyth High School, Bullets Over Broadway. And the Schuler goes to Together. Jan Ewing, North, High, North Hall High School. Catch me if you can. Woo. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Wow. I just want to say, what a celebration. This is amazing. I really want to take a selfie. Um, <laughs> this is, what a celebration of theater. Wow, what we do is so important. And it's amazing. And it's the best job anybody could ask for. Um, I have to thank so many people because my job is just collaborative in nature. And that is Jason T. Waddell. Christian Tice, who's been the best, awesome um, student teacher this semester. The most fabulous drama mama ever, Melinda Heider. And the North Hall, North Hall High School Community Administration, and especially Gary, Maggie, and JT Ewing, who do without mommy and wife so many days of the year. And all my friends who are up here and nominated as well. I love you, thank you so much. Please welcome the president and CEO of the Woodruff Art Center, Doug Shipman. I'm Doug Shipman, and I'm very excited to be here because I get to work at a place that has something called the Atlanta Symphony Orchestra. And yes. And a good orchestra can be thought of as an extension of the cast on the stage. Technically proficient and attentive to their conductor, they are ready to complement and elevate the emotions of the actors. 
It's the constant collaboration between the pit and the player that makes a show unique, creating a theater experience that's truly one of a kind every time. Here are your Schuler Award nominees for Best Orchestra. Jim Palmer, Alatuna High School, Hairspray. Lara Tomlin, Davidson Fine Arts School, Footloose. Jason Smith, Newton High School, High School Musical. Tracy Wright, Ringgold High School, Oklahoma. Michael Nestor, Savannah Arts Academy, Bring It On The Musical. Christian Bigliani, South Forsyth High School, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. And the Schuler goes to Jason Smith, Newton High School, High School Musical. Oh my goodness, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I would just want to thank God for all of the blessings that, that continue to come to me. I um, want to thank my family, of course. Uh, my beautiful wife is here always supporting me and my, my, uh, my kids. Um, our phenomenal uh, drama director, Ms. Clue, Devin Clue, she's only been there for a, a year and a half and continues to take our program to the next level. And of course, Mr. Johnny Edwards, he's our, our chorus director, he can be here today, but very supportive. Uh, all of the other drama and band programs, thank you so much. Uh, Dr. Buff, administration, um, everybody, all of the nominees, wonderful programs, have a great day and go Rams. been told that I can be too loud at times. <laughs> and other times I've been told I'm too quiet, although that's admittedly rare. <laughs> Perhaps our next set of nominees can help me find the right balance. Yes. Here to present the Schuler Award for Sound Design, put your hands together for the Chief Operating Officer of Delta Community Credit Union, Matthew Shepard. Thank you. Of course, the job of the sound designer extends far beyond the volume of a performance. The skilled individual studies the script and crafts the sounds that bring each scene to life, from music to sound effects to dialogue. Every noise has its place. And if it's audible, it's laudable. You'll laugh later. Here are your nominees for this year's Schuler Award for Best Sound. Darlene Wright and Ben Riley, Calhoun High School, Bring It On the Musical. Savannah Taylor, Evans High School, Little Shop of Horrors. Dr. Kim Waters and Jonathan Gaines, Gordon Central High School, 110 in the Shade. Mia DeLapp, Kellen Blotner, and Adam Britt, 42nd Street, Johns Creek High School. Grant Norcom and Eli Jones, Milton High School, Cabaret. Izzy Etwine, Sam Poole, Raven Gatnacucci School, Cabaret. And the Schuler goes to Milton High School. Grant Norcom and Eli Jones, Cabaret. Well, we'd first like to thank the directors, David Hopkins, Sim Jones. I'd like to thank my family, my cast, everybody that's helped and supported me along the way. Thank you. All the cast and crew, Chris Schumick, Nathan Schreer, Drew Bowers, you guys make this work so easy. Thank you all. Hi, kids. 
I'm Mel Brooks. I really am. I want to, I want to congratulate you on all being at the Schulers. It's, it's, so, it's so wonderful that you're keeping musical theater alive. I love you all. I remember when I was a little kid in high school, um, I performed in a variety show and uh, I was booed, but it didn't, it didn't hurt, it didn't, it didn't hurt me. But uh, every once in a while I did get a laugh. Uh, let me tell you one of the jokes that I got a laugh with. Uh, a guy goes into a public library and he says to the librarian, I would like a cheeseburger, french fries, and a large Coke. And the librarian says, sir, you're in a library. And he says, oh, 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 I want a cheeseburger, french fries, and a large Coke. And I actually got to laugh with that. So anyway, uh, Shula Hensley played the monster in Young Frankenstein for me on Broadway. And I'd like to take this opportunity to apologize for not paying him very much. So I'd like to make it up by doing this for him. And anyway, uh, I, I, I remember being a kid and I remember all the joy and the, and the emotion of, of being in musical theater. And I, I love you all and I wish you Go all the way, kids. Bye-bye. For those of you who have tuned in for all 10 historic years of the Schulers, you may know that I am a fan of farce. You know, Cheryl, that's farce. F-A-R-C-E. What did you think I said? <laughs> Gross. Any case. The next school nominated for Best Overall Production decided to tackle one of Broadway's finest musicals of that genre. It all starts with a song, a cast album from the 1920s, which comes to life before our protagonist's eyes. The hilarity and hijinks that result grab the audience from the very first note and never let go. Performing Toledo's surprise from the Broadway musical, The Drowsy Chaperone, please welcome our third overall production nominee, Greenbrier High School. Uh, hello, how are we tonight? I'm feeling a little blue myself, so I thought, why not listen to one of my favorite numbers from my favorite show, The Drowsy Chaperone? So, so I was wondering, would you, would you indulge me? Would you let me play my record for you now? <laughs> oh, I was hoping you would say that. We'll be listening to Toledo Surprise at the end of Act One. Yes, madam. What's all this commotion about? The wedding, madam. Oh, there's going to be a wedding. I love weddings. Well, I'm afraid it's been called off. Oh, what a tragedy. Yes, what a tragedy. What a wonderful, wonderful tragedy. Clear the floor, boys. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> First you beat it up, then you sweet it up, when you heat it up, if it tries to rise, don't let it Toledo Surprise.
I am joined now by a very, very special guest, Jody Benson. <laughs> yeah, though you may know her better as the voice of Ariel from Disney's film, The Little Mermaid. Ah! <laughs> so now I am sure our audience is aware of your work at The Little Mermaid, as well as uh, your Tony nominated portrayal of Polly in Crazy for You on Broadway. <laughs> but tonight you're here in a different role, so why don't you tell me about the Smiley for Kylie Foundation? Yes, thank you so much. I'm here as Aunt Jody to Kylie Myers, an amazing young lady who passed away three years ago at the age of 12 with Ewing sarcoma cancer. So she was passionate about musical theater, and she dreamed of being on Broadway. So after her passing, her parents who are with me tonight, Mark and Robin Myers, started the foundation of Smiley for Kylie. So we decided what a great idea to partner with ArtsBridge Foundation and with the Schuler Awards and find out how to serve and how to pass on Kylie's mission and her passion. So we found three fabulous seniors and awarded them scholarships, not only for their incredible talent in musical theater, but for their passion to love others well and to serve others well and to spread joy and of course to smile, which was Kylie. So well, Jody, thank you we're so, so honored. Thank you so much for having us. Such an incredible, incredible cause. So uh, give her a round of applause. Thank well, thank you for joining us for the 10-year anniversary. Of yes. <laughs> now, please welcome our next presenter here to award the Schuler for Best Musical Direction, the Director of Marketing for the Atlanta Opera, Holly Han Hanchi. Thank you. <laughs> A musical director takes a song and crafts it into an experience. They help maximize the performance of the actors, conduct the orchestra, and all while keeping tone of each piece consistent with the overall direction of the show. This year's Schuler Award nominees for Best Musical Direction are all shining examples of how paying attention to every detail can truly transform a production. Here are your nominees. Shannon O'Dowd, Johns Creek High School, 42nd Street. Drew Bowers and Nathan Schreer, Milton High School, Cabaret. Russell Watkins, Savannah Arts Academy, Bring It On the Musical. Kirk Grizzle, South Forsyth High School, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. J.D. Flynn, Walton High School, Pippin. Eric Gray, West Forsyth High School, Bullets Over Broadway. And the Schuler goes to South Forsyth High School, Kurt Grizzle, the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Wow, this is amazing. I, I want to thank the faculty and staff at South Forsyth High School and the parents and the students. And I can't claim this award without thanking Christian Bigliani and Samuel Mishkin for their hard work. And I also want to thank my wife and my beautiful three-week-old daughter, Blakely, at home. I love you guys and I miss you guys. Hi, I'm Emma Grace Crumbly. I am currently a student at the University of Georgia and I am studying entomology and theater. So the Hope Scholarship really allowed me to open up my college experience. You can combine the arts with a field like entomology, which is insect studies, which doesn't seem like it would make sense and have this beautiful experience come out of it. My end goal is I plan on attending medical school and I would really like to be an entomologist for the CDC. This summer, this summer, the student who wins the Schuler Award for Best Leading Actress will be invited to participate in the Broadway League's National High School Musical Theater Awards in New York, also known as the Jimmy Awards. Our nominees tonight were chosen based on two performances. 
The first was their performance in their school production, and the second was a special performance designed to mirror the process our winner will undergo in New York. Helping me present this year's nominees, please welcome the 2014 Schuler Award winner for leading actor, Ruben Barksdale. Hey, buddy. Thank you. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks for joining us tonight. No problem, I am excited to be here. I'm really excited to be here. Are you, are you all excited to be here? <laughs> Why don't you get it going with it and tell them about the nominees, would you? All right, so your first nominee will be I'm sure they're excited back there. Yes, they are. The 2018 yes, the 2018 nominees for Outstanding Performance by a Leading Actress. Olivia Palmer, Alpharetta High School, Little Shop of Horrors. Elizabeth Dutch, Gordon Central High School, 110 in the Shade. Parker Jennings. Now let's, but before we get to who won, let's, let's, let's see them perform, shall we? Here they are. Run! 
Can we give it up again for them? <laughs> well, once again, here are your nominees for an outstanding performance by a leading actress. Olivia Palmer, Alpharetta High School, Little Shop of Horrors. Elizabeth Dutch, Gordon Central High School, 110 in the Shade. Parker Jennings, Greater Atlanta Christian School, My Fair Lady. Elena Arouse, 
Lambert High School, Chicago, Mary Caroline Owens, Milton High School, Cabaret, Milka Siddiqui Yisrael, Tri-Cities High School, Pippin. All right. <laughs> and the Schuler goes to Parker Jennings, <laughs> Greater Atlanta Christian School. forget I have to thank my cast my crew my fair lady all of you I love you so much I have to thank Sam Casey I'm saying it this year Sam um, I have to thank Christina Kyle Lisa Miss Winks thank you for giving me this opportunity thank you so much to my entire family I love you all so much thank you for making this show in this life absolutely loverly I love you all thank you Congratulations, Parker! Hi! Oh my goodness, well just know you will have Schuler's and my support, as well as the support of our next group of nominees. After all, it is in their title. And here to present this year's Schuler for Best Supporting Actress from the Georgia Public Service Commission, please welcome Trisha Pridemore. Each year, the Schuler Award for Best Supporting Actor goes to the individual who stands out from the crowd while supporting the efforts of his fellow cast members. Finding that very sweet spot, it isn't easy, but when it happens, the results are especially sweet for the audience. Here are your 2018 Schuler nominees for Best Supporting Actor. Drew Gravitt, Calhoun High School, Bring It On The Musical. John Spaulding, Dunwoody High School, You're In Town. Luis Vigil, Lakeside High School, Bring It On The Musical. Harrison Lewis, Milton High School, Cabaret. Seth Atkins, South Forsyth High School, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Sam Perry, Artios Academies of Sugar Hill, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. And the 2018 Schiller Award goes to Milton High School, Harrison Lewis. Oh my God. <laughs> Um, thank you so much to everyone who made this production happen. Um, most importantly, Mr. Hopkins, our director, because he directed this in such a way and had a vision that made everyone look better and made my role what it is. But thank you also to our music directors, Drew Bowers, Nathan Schreer, and then Chris Schumick, and then everyone who has helped support me as an actor over the years, especially my family, uh, my mom, my dad, my beautiful sister. And thank you also to Principal Jones for allowing this to happen because it's an important show and it's important to tell stories like these because it reminds us of something really important in our society. Thank you. Our next, our next nominee for Best Overall Production gives us a glimpse into the tumultuous world of high school cheerleading where tempers <laughs> where tempers as well as uniforms flare and friendships can be found in the most unlikely of places, including your rival school's dance crew. Performing I Got You from the high-flying musical sensation, Bring It On, please welcome Calhoun High School. That go to show it when we know it inside. Hey girl, we got screaming just like we were dreaming. I know I'm satisfied. Hey girl, look how far we've come now before you couldn't stand me. Now you think I'm all right, right, right. Hey girl, I thought you were a spoiled rich outside little white girl. Now I think you're just white. <laughs> 20 years, it's not a big old trophy.
The Schuler Awards and all of the programs provided through ArtsBridge Foundation are made possible by the support of our sponsors. At ArtsBridge, we believe arts education should be available to all Georgia students, regardless of their ability to pay. If you share our vision, visit us at artsbridgega.org and learn ways that you can help. Thank you. Earlier this evening, we introduced the nominees for Outstanding Performance by a Leading Actress, the winner of which will be competing this summer in the Broadway League's National High School Musical Theater Awards in New York City. Our Leading Actor nominees have waited patiently to hear which one of them will receive the same honor. And I have a very special guest here to help me present. Please welcome from Broadway's Tuck Everlasting, Sarah Charles Lewis. Thank you so much for being here tonight, Sarah. And I have one question for you. You started uh, Tuck Everlasting at the Alliance Theater, and then it transferred to Broadway. And I think everyone here who's aspiring actress or actor wants to know what, what it's like to, to get to Broadway, and what do you need to do to get to Broadway? My first piece of advice would probably be train all the time. Uh, whether it be your weakest link, Train your weakest link the most, because that would make you a true triple threat. My second piece of advice would be to be yourself. I mean, be confident in who you are, because I promise that there is a role for everyone here. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. <clears throat> now, I, I'm going to let you take it from here. So here we go, right here. Thanks, Schuler. You got it. <laughs> Please welcome your 2018 nominees for Outstanding Performance by a Leading Actor. Don't 
Stop them. I can't wait to get away, away from the drought and the homeless and the hungry, where they talk about foreclosures every hot and dusty day. I don't intend to waste my life around here. I've got it all mapped out. If I can pull just three jobs a year, I'll be rich. I'll have wealth and fame, everyone will know my name. Just like Billy the Kid and Mr. Capone, every kid will idolize Clyde Barron. One thing I know I can guarantee is this world for the Schuler Award for Outstanding Performance by a Leading Actor. Luke Brown, Glenn Academy, Bonnie and Clyde, Josh Martin, Milton High School, Cabaret, Thompson Sewell, Prince Avenue Christian School, Susical, Jonathan Marcinia, Artios Academies of Sugar Hill, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Lawton Berry, Tri-Cities High School, Pippin, Chase Coulson, West Forsyth High School, Bullets Over Broadway. And the Schuler goes to Lawton Berry from Tri Cities High School, Pippin. <laughs> Oh. 
I want to first start um, by thanking God because without him, none of this would be possible. Um, I want to thank my mother, wherever she's in the audience, because she's the best support system I've ever had in my life. She's the only reason why I'm up here right now. I want to thank you, mother. I want to thank the Tri-Cities High School Theater Department. I want to thank Jay Lembersmith and Dr. Tiffany Mingo. Thank you guys so much. My name is Leona Brackett. I'm a meteorologist here at the Weather Channel. I was a performer throughout high school. I was a ballerina, so I guess you could say now I dance in front of the green screen. <laughs> I, I think the biggest takeaway from my high school experience was definitely presence, stage presence. And even though I have a different stage now, I have my camera back here, I am still just loving this experience. I took so much away from it in high school and I hope you do too. Ready. Well, I'm backstage once again with our leading actress, Parker, and our leading actor, both winners, Lawton. How are you doing? Um, you're so probably pumped on adrenaline. Um, uh, did you forget to thank anybody? I think I did. I probably forgot to thank so many people, but, you know, my mind is everywhere right now. So, <laughs> What about you, Parker? Did you get everybody in? I think I remembered my list this year, but anybody I didn't thank, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, now it's time to crown tonight's supporting actress. And to help us do that, please welcome the principal of Clarkdale Elementary School, Liz Maynard, joined by the Schuler Awards 2016 Best Supporting Actress, Maggie Christine. Thank you. A supporting actress is more than the best friend or the sidekick. She's the person in whom our protagonist confides secrets, explaining motives, and concocting plots. She is the critical link between the audience and the leading character, which we can see in the intimate moments to which only she is trusted. Here are the nominees for the 2018 Schuler Award for Best Supporting Actress. Anna Jarrett, Alatoona High School, Hairspray. Haley Thornton, Buford High School, The Adams Family. Alexis Trammell, Providence Christian Academy, All Shook Up. Jesse Kirtley, Roswell High School, Legally Blonde. Madison Thompson, The Lovett School, Peter Pan. Allie LeBlanc, West Forsyth High School, Bullets Over Broadway. And the Schuler goes to Roswell High School, Jesse Kirtley. Everyone involved with Legally Blonde, I love you guys. Um, to Tolbert Yuma School of Dance for teaching me how to dance. Um, to Valerie Kennedy for teaching me how to sing. And to Red Phoenix Theater Company, come see Jacqueline Hyde. Um, I love you guys so much. Thanks for making Georgia High School Musical Theater amazing. I love you guys. The climax of a play is when, when tensions are highest and the plot takes a turn. There's often a number that sweeps us off our feet and into an exhilarating new direction. We call this kind of performance a showstopper. So here now to perform Merry Old Land of Oz from The Wizard of Oz is tonight's Schuler Award winner for Best Showstopper, Stars Mill High School. <coughs> Welcome to the Emerald City! Thank you! Ha ha ha, ho ho ho, and a couple of tra la la's. That's how we laugh the day away in the merry old land of Oz. Oh, it's everything you said it was and more! When do we get to see the wizard? Oh, will you take us to him? It's he scary! Oh, the wizard? Why, yes, of course. But first, I'll take you to a place where you can tidy up a little. Oh, thank you!
That performance was certainly enough to stop our show right here, but something tells me they'd rather continue so they can accept their award. <laughs> and here to do that from Stars Mill High School, Savannah Silvas. <laughs> What an incredible honor. I'd like to thank everyone who helped this fix, make this successful. Antonella, Jennifer, Scott, I could not have done this without you. Our very supportive administration, community, parents, and Booster Board, thank you so much. Our amazing cast and crew have stuck through it all and have been through it and have done it because of the passion for theater. And my amazing husband and daughter, Lily, for being so supportive throughout this entire process. Thank you. <laughs> and everyone is having a toe tap and good time, is that right? Come here, gentlemen. You look very dapper tonight. Thank you. You're very welcome. So why don't you tell me what your favorite performance has been tonight? Mm, I gotta stick with my family, Milton High School. All right. Who, who is in your family? Katherine Shepler. She was also in Schuler Ensemble, so. All right, well, congrats, Katherine. Thank you so much. And now, to present the Schuler Award for Best Choreography, please welcome two extremely qualified people, the Chair of the Department of Dance for the Kennesaw State University College of the Arts, Ivan Pulinkala, along with the Dean of the Center for Dance Education for the Atlanta Ballet, Sharon Story. Good evening. In a musical, the songs often tell the story, but it is the choreography that conveys the energy. Every step and turn in a production is created to work with the vision of the direction and the design of the stage, culminating in a performance that is crafted and rehearsed down to the final bow. Here are your nominees for the Schuler for the Best Choreography. Cindy Folger, Davidson Fine Arts School, Footloose. Wiley Watlington, McIntosh High School, Urinetown. Lynn Brog, Mount Perrin Christian School, Oklahoma. Antonella Klogic and Clarence White, Stars Mill High School, Wizard of Oz. Chris Arredondo, Walton High School, Pippin. Maddie Eibler and Adrian Crawford, West Forsyth High School, Bullets Over Broadway. And the Schuler goes to? West Forsyth High School. Okay, um, wow. Um, first, we'd like to thank our mentor and friend, James Landro, um, who gave us the experience we needed to take on this show. We want to thank our beautiful best friends and fellow dancers, the Atta Girls, along with the cast and crew. Um, and I want to thank my mom and my dad. I love you guys. And uh, a special shout out to my big brother, Nick Eibler, who sparked my love for theater and inspires me every single day. Thank you so much to our director, Mr. Eric Gray. We love you so much. Um, wow. Uh, thank you so much to our boys who put so much into this. We know you guys aren't born dancers, but you try so hard. It is awesome. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And thank you so much to my family. Yes. Thank you I, so much. I couldn't know that you were here. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Hey y'all, jazz hands. I'm Faith Saley from CBS Sunday Morning and NPR's Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me, and I'm from Atlanta. I went to North Springs High School. I dedicated my teenage years to musical theater, and it set me up for the rest of my life. Doing musical theater involves improvisation and discipline and boldness and fierceness and, and playfulness, all of these things you know, and you will find that it informs everything you choose to do for the rest of your life. It even got me on Star Trek. I sang an aria in an episode of Star Trek and got beamed up, so I guess I changed my jazz hands to um, Vulcan fingers. Break a leg.
David, a high moral playwright, finally gets his big break when his script lands in the hands of an investor who wants to bring it to Broadway. The problem? David's new investor is a mobster whose true motive lies in casting his less than talented girlfriend in the lead role. This adaptation of the 1994 film by the same name kicks the roaring 20s into full swing. Here to show you what I mean by performing Yes, We Have No Bananas from Bullets Over Broadway, the musical. It's our fifth overall production nominee of the evening, West Forsyth High School. Chopped liver that's chopped your way. We got some fine curve lock for selling. Locks, dishes, we're compelling. But yes, we have no bananas. We have no bananas today. Yes, we have no. Yes, we have no. Yes, we have no bananas. Lobster, all steamy and hollow, but it's been filleted. Delicious orange crepes, bombay, a lovely brisket marinade. Cheese is of the highest grade. Potatoes baked, potatoes hashed, potatoes boiled, potatoes mashed. Consomme and duck pate. Cheese souffle and lime sorbet and fish parfait. But still I say, we have no bananas today. Got a bit of a standing ovation there. Well, that is the fifth of our six schools nominated for tonight's overall production award, meaning we still have one heart-pumping nominee yet to perform. As we've seen tonight, it takes a lot of effort to come together as a unit and execute at the highest level. So let's take a moment to recognize the schools that have excelled in that category this year. Please welcome our next presenter to award the Schuler for Best Ensemble, the owner of the Forsyth Academy of Performing Arts and music director of the Schuler Awards, Leanne Kennedy. We all know the saying, united we stand, divided we fall. And nowhere is this principle better exemplified than on the theater stage, where teamwork truly does make the dream work. 
Tonight's Ensemble Award goes to the cast that best exemplifies successful chemistry on stage as they work together to present a unified creative vision for their audience. Let's take a look at the nominees for Best Ensemble. Calhoun High School, Bring It On The Musical. Gordon Central High School, 110 In The Shade. McIntosh High School, You're In Town. Milton High School, Cabaret. South Forsyth High School, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Wesleyan School, Disney's Beauty and the Beast. And the Schuler goes to Milton High School Cabaret. <laughs> such an honor. We put in so much work into this. So many, so much sweat, so much tears, <laughs> the painful feet. <laughs> um, I just want to say thank you to all of our parents who support us. And it, we truly have over this process become such a family as well as a cohesive ensemble. And it's just been the best experience. Um, on behalf of the entire cast, we'd like to thank our amazing directors, David Hopkins, Sim Jones, Drew Bowers, Nathan Schwer, Shannon Drusbansky, Chris Schumick, and the amazing orchestra and crew. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> hmm. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be standing over here or over there, and should I be whimsical, or should I be more dramatic? It looks like I'm in need of some serious direction, right? Ah, yes. And I know just where to find some serious directors. Here to present tonight's Schuler Award for Direction, please welcome the director of the True Colors Theater Company here in Atlanta, Kenny Leon. <laughs> the director is responsible for the overall vision of a production. Ultimately, it is the director who translates the page onto the stage. It's the director who works with the actors approves the sets, discovers the nuances, and tackles every hiccup every day at every phase of the show's development. And those are the easy days. Here are your nominees for this year's Shula Award for Best Direction. Julie Leggett, Calhoun High School, Bring It On. Cece Conrath, Lakeview Academy, All Shook Up. David Hopkins, Cabaret, Milton High School. Kirk Grizzle, South Forsyth High School, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Joy Michelle Green, Walton High School, Pippin. Eric Gray, West Forsyth High School, Bullets Over Broadway. And the Schuler goes to South Forsyth High School. Kirk Grizzle, the hunchback of Notre Dame. Wow, uh, was not expecting this. You know, with, with these guys out here, um, wow, I just can't believe it. But thank you, faculty, staff, parents, for all of the support, and the students. I wouldn't be here without the students, uh, because they are amazing. We get such wonderful talent at South Forsyth. Thank you so much. And again, my wife, Melissa, I love you. My daughter, Blakely, thank you so much for being patient with me with all of the hours that we put in. But thank you so much. In the hunchback of Notre Dame, Quasimodo dreams of seeing the world outside his walls. 
But when he finally gets his chance to walk among the crowd, he learns how cruel the world can be. As he is mistreated by everyone, he crosses and saves the beautiful gypsy Esmeralda. This unorthodox love story based on the Victor Hugo's Gothic novel shows us that while beauty may be skin deep, love is anything but. Here to perform God Help the Outcasts from the Hunchback of Notre Dame, please welcome our final overall production nominee, South Forsyth High School. <laughs> know if you can hear me or if you're even there I don't know if you would listen to a gypsy's prayer yes I know I'm just an outcast I shouldn't speak to you but still I see your face and wonder So my name is Michael Tidwell. I'm a freshman at Valdosta State University. I graduated from Woodland High School in 2016. I am pursuing a degree in biology and plan to go to med school after that. So participating in the arts in high school really shaped who I am today. And I think it's gonna shape who I am in the future as well. I plan to become a cardiothoracic surgeon or a critical care ICU doctor. My name is Jalen Josie. I'm 19. I won the Shoot Awards back in 2014, and I currently play Pearl in the new musical SpongeBob on Broadway. My bit of advice is that your plan B should make sure that your plan A works, and you should never settle. That shouldn't even be in your vocabulary. Um, I just, everything happens for a reason. So 
You should never settle and you should go with your gut. Most definitely. Continue on with your journeys. Bye, you guys. Go. Presenting this year's final award for best overall production, yes, the one we've all been waiting for, please welcome the CEO of the Georgia Lottery, Gretchen Corbin. Good evening. You have now seen all of tonight's overall production nominees, and they have each put on an incredible performance. So it's time to see who gets to take home this evening's most coveted prize. But before we do, let's take one more look at the nominees for the Schuler Award for Best Overall Production. Calhoun High School, Bring It On the Musical. Greenbrier High School, The Drowsy Chaperone. Milton High School, Cabaret. South Forsyth High School, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. The Artios Academies of Sugar Hill, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. West Forsyth High School, Bullets Over Broadway. The 2018 Schuler Award for Best Overall Production goes to... Milton High School Cabaret. Wow, um, I'm overwhelmed. Uh, thank you so much. Um, thank God for my blessings, uh, for my family, my beautiful wife and son who put up with my insane hours, um, my cast, crew, and orchestra, a whole production team. You guys are outstanding. I love you so much. Um, Arts Bridge for exposing the world to high school theater. This is a beautiful thing. Schuler, you goofball. This is really wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And that's our last award of the evening. Did you have fun? Yeah? <clears throat> the 10th Annual Schuler Awards is drawing to a close, but don't go anywhere yet. All of our amazing students have one more show-stopping number ahead that is sure to leave you with a smile. Before they do, I want to take this opportunity to thank our adjudicators, our sponsors, my co-host Beth Keener, all of them. <laughs> and of course, Artsbridge Foundation itself. It's not easy to put on the performances we saw tonight. It takes a lot of long hours. So I want to also thank tonight's performers, as well as the wonderful teachers and parents who support them, right? You are the unsung heroes. And on that note, I thank you all for watching tonight, for supporting the arts, and for encouraging a new generation of young professionals. You've likely heard a lot about the importance of STEM programs. That's science, technology, engineering, and math. And they are important. But can we add an A to STEM? <laughs> to, make it, to make it STEAM. and acknowledge the impact of arts education. STEM will take us places, but we'll go even further with steam power. Regardless of what field our children decide to pursue, 
If we encourage them to create, they will never stop dreaming. And if they never stop dreaming, their futures will be unlimited. That is the beauty of arts education. Thank you for making that possible. Now sit back and enjoy the final performance. This very special 10 year anniversary celebration. Good night. Numbers. Schuler just doesn't age. Ten years, let's look at the fabulous things we've done. Our winners stack up the accolades one by one. Ten years of entertaining, heart and soul in every step. a fantastic future ahead. In fact, I think the 10-year anniversary special is just the beginning. Oh!